everyone, it's Denise, and I have been working at Starlight Drive-In, and I just wanted to show you all what I have been working on. I have been working on a general goods store, and I originally saw this from a YouTuber called Big Bad Bam. Try to say that three times really fast. I will leave a link in the description box below to his um original video he just does a tour of the general goods store so i had to watch the video several times to figure out how to recreate it and this is a gentleman that builds with mods on the pc so i tried to replicate it as best as i could um, but he did a very good job on on this store and i just really loved it i wanted to try to recreate it so I will show you what I did so you can kind of refer back to his video and then come and look at mine and see what y'all think uh, in comparison if you think I did a good job or not but here it is and he had a live guard out front of his you know because he, they have those little mats that you can just put up there and then a guard will stand on it we don't have mats, so obviously I had to I had to do this. And I put one of my little robot guys there. And I don't think he had anything out front like this, but I decided to do that. But he had the shelf out here with all the stuff on it and a couple chairs and stuff and Oh my, there's one of my trucks. No shooting beyond this point. Here we are. I just have to walk through here very slowly because none of the junk items are fixed. Stuff will still, like I'll walk by this table and everything will fly off of it even though I didn't touch the table at all. So you just have to be very, very careful um, when you put these many junk items down. Uh, I've fast traveled away and came back. They sink through um, the floor. Uh, none of it's been fixed, at least not in my game. <laughs> um, and I have all the updates and everything, so... Uh, but I wanted to decorate it up anyways, and probably after this video, I might take some of them down. Uh, I've had Nuka-Cola bottles fall through the floor from that machine, actually. They just fell right through. Some of these carpets still aren't able to be removed for whatever reason. So... We got this little section of the store. And I guess it's getting dark out because the guy isn't here at his station. I'm still trying to find more magazines to put on that rack. And because I didn't want to transfer them from Egret Tours over here. Here's some I put over here and got all the toys for sale there. And then here's this like little workshop place back here. He's got cigars and a clock and a mod. He's got a safe hidden underneath there. He's got some suitcases. And I will show you the back part. Uh, their living area is in the back. And he, in his video, he didn't show the back part, so I don't know if he had a living quarters built into the back or not, but I decided to do this. Oh, and I found this kind of funny, that you can put toolboxes on top of plants. I didn't know you could do that, so I left it that way so I could show you guys. <laughs> it's another funny, quirky thing. So I believe what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a separate video on how to build this general store. And like I said, I uh, he didn't do a, a let's build video to show anyone how to build it. Um, 
which is fine. I love walkthroughs. I just so I had to figure out how to how to build it on my own, which which was kind of hard at first, but then I had to just step away and then come back to it. And once I took a break and came back to it, then everything seemed to fall in place uh, pretty well. So I hope you guys like this and uh, I hope you draw some er, inspiration from it. <laughs> and I will see you guys uh, next time. I I'm going to show another part of Starlight that I'm working on as well. The little back rooms there in the back. I, that's why I'm staring at the wall so y'all can't see the rest of what I'm working on. So anyways, I hope y'all are doing well and I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you soon. Bye.